So, today's video's topic is going to be Aung San Suu Kyi. She's basically a Burmese politician, diplomat, author, and 1991 Nobel Prize laureate. She previously served as a state counselor of Myanmar from years 2016 to the present. This Wikipedia article basically states that she was removed in a coup d'etat on February the 1st, today. In a telegram group, one person comments that Looks like they hit the jackpot in Myanmar, Burma, Biden and Co. panic. And this picture shows the counselor of that state being kissed by Barack Obama. And here she is being greeted by Hillary Clinton. And here she is with both Obama and Clinton. Uh, looking quite pleased with the both of them. Usually when you see pictures of this nature, you have to wonder about specific associations and deeper connections between individuals. This specifically with regards to corruption. The inspiration to even cover this topic today was because Jen Psaki, the uh, spokesperson for the Biden administration, put out a statement by the White House. Her statement is quite explosive. I'll read it to you. The United States is alarmed by reports that the Burmese military has taken steps to undermine the country's democratic transition, including the arrest of State Councilor Aung San Suu Kyi and other civilian officials in Burma. President Biden has been briefed by the National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. We continue to affirm our strong support for Burma's democratic institutions and, in coordination with our regional partners, urge the military and all other partners to adhere to democratic norms and the rule of law and to release those detained today. The United States opposes any attempt to alter the outcome of recent elections or impede Myanmar's democratic transition and will take action against those responsible if these steps are not reversed. We are monitoring the situation closely and stand with the people of Burma who have already endured so much in their quest for democracy and peace. And I think the most significant part of this particular statement by the press secretary is that the U.S. opposes any attempt to alter the outcome of recent elections and that they will take action against those responsible if these steps are not reversed. This is really, really strong language and seems to suggest a possible military action by the United States against the coup in Burma. What is it our business what goes on in this other country over the seas? Given the images I previously showed you, um, there is a suggestion that the deeper connections between those individuals may have possibly been related to the reason this person was removed from the leadership role in Burma. Also, the military coup did relate to the results of a recent election in that nation. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I may provide an update depending on how this develops. Peace.